Hi everyone, Amber with Amber Approved, your leading health food emotional eating expert. Amberapproved.ca is my website. So today I want to talk a little bit about not delaying your health. So not taking a break from taking care of yourself essentially is the topic. So with summer literally here and a lot of people planning vacations and going places, um, there's that going on. So a lot of people will kind of put their health or their goals to the side and go, oh, I'm going to wait till September. And in September, I'll get started on everything. And my curiosity, my question for that is, why wait two or three months to feel better when you could enjoy summer and feel better? Why? Why delay? I'm always curious to know why people want to delay and potentially what excuses might be in the way, what fears, what blocks that we want to actually get out of the way so that you're not delaying your good and you're not suffering longer than you really have to. Because to me, why would you want to have a summer where you're bloated and in pain and you're not feeling good and you're feeling insecure in your body when you could have an amazing summer and balance your body, feel healthy and create great memories because you're not focused or obsessing about the food or your body image. When we clear our mind and we're taking care of ourselves, we can enjoy and focus on being present to what's going on around us, which are the beautiful memories of the summer, the warmer weather, whatever it is that you're doing, instead of focusing on how poorly you may have felt. And maybe for some of you, that's not an issue, but I'm really speaking for those who are choosing to delay their good. The other key piece of this, and I'm talking about this in episode 83 of the podcast coming out on Sunday, is... Don't delay your health until January. A lot of people set New Year's resolutions on January 1st and then they get going and they're they're feeling good and maybe they're making some changes and then something happens and bam, everything is a failure. They fall off the wagon and it's like, okay, well, you know what? I'll just try again next January. Again, why delay a whole, you know, another year, another six, seven months until next year to get started on your health? What is in the way for you and why would you want to delay? Why not start now so that by the time January comes, by the time September comes, you are feeling amazing. You're in a different headspace. Your body is feeling healthier, more vibrant. Why not? Food for thought. That's what I'm going to be chatting more about in episode 83 of the No Show Recording Podcast, plus more, of course. That episode comes out Sunday. Definitely be sure if you are struggling to email me at info and to book your 30 minute complimentary consultation and let's explore these goals, these fears, these concerns, and let's get you breaking free of them so you can have body freedom and optimal health. Doesn't that sound amazing? Um, so make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube. I put out videos on Fridays. Again, make sure you click the link in the notes to go and subscribe to the No Sugar Coding podcast on iTunes. And check out my website at amberapproved.ca. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will chat with you next week.